Hello, in this video we're going to go through drawing organic structures and converting between organic structures, numbering, and naming. So this first one that I put up here um, has a functional group on it. And this is an alcohol and you can see we have one substituent. So let's, let's start by um, circling the parent chain. Remember, I'm going to go the longest distance in carbons without picking up my pencil or backtracking. So with this one's pretty easy. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons long. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that. And I know that seven carbons is heptane. And I know it's heptane because it's only single bonds. Now, let's go ahead and convert this to a skeletal structure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on this side, I'm going to go one carbon over. So this is one, this is number two. We haven't learned how to number with functional groups, so we're not going to really worry about the numbering for this particular one. Because whenever you have functional groups like alcohols and aldehydes and ketones, the numbering changes. But we're not going to worry about that. For this one, we're just going to kind of go left to right and forget about the numbering. On the, on the next few, we will do numbering, though. So this is one, two, three, four, and on that fourth carbon from the left, we have that methyl group. So one, two, three, four, CH3. <clears throat> okay, so you would need to know from this that this is an alcohol and this is a methyl group. And uh, in, the, in these next few, we'll actually number them so we can give that methyl group an address. But for this one, this is all that uh, you would be expected to know as far as the naming goes. And then uh, make sure that you're able to convert between this condensed structure. I'm gonna go ahead and label this as condensed. And then this is skeletal. All right, so let's move on to the next one. This next one we can see has an alkene in it right here. So right off the bat, I know that my suffix for the parent chain is going to be ene, not ane, as we saw for the last one. And finding the parent chain for this one's pretty easy. There's not a whole lot of ambiguity about which direction to go. So that would be the parent chain, leaving behind um, two substituents. This is a methyl, and this is a methyl. So numbering, I'm going to start from the side that's closest to the alkene. That would be over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 being non, and I'm going to put that E and E on there. And since this is on the number 1 carbon, since, since the alkene starts on the number 1 carbon, let me go ahead and put the numbers in here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Since the alkene starts on the number one carbon, it's actually going to be one nonene. So that would be the parent chain. And then my substituents are going to be five methyl and seven methyl. Okay. And if we were to convert this to a skeletal structure from the condensed, this would we first need to draw nine carbons here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then put an alkene on that first carbon going between one and two. 
and then two, three, four, five. First methyl group, six, seven, second methyl group. So this would be the skeletal again, just to reiterate that. And this is condensed. So let me show that fully there. All right, I'm gonna cover more on the back than I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a little bit trickier. So this first one here <clears throat> utilizes parentheses. And if you remember, the parentheses means that there are three repeating CH2s. So this would be CH3, CH2, 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 then CH, CH2, CH, CH2, CH2, CH3. And if we count all that up, we end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 carbons in total. <clears throat> I'm not going this direction because it would be, in this case, it would be at number 6 here. It would be 7, 8. 7, 8. But I can get 6, 7, 8, 9. Whoops, I guess this will be 7. 7, 8, 9, 10. So this will be 7, 8, 9. But this is 3 carbons up here which is more than the two to end the chain down here. So my parent chain is going to be this one right here. And since it's 10 and it's only single bonds, it is going to be decane. And then I have two substituents here. I have a methyl, and this one is that isopropyl. Isopropyl. And the reason why this is isopropyl is because it's three carbons, which is that propyl part. It's iso because it is attached to the parent chain with the middle carbon. And if it's attached to the parent chain via the middle carbon, it would be that iso. <clears throat> okay, so now we need to do the numbering. So if we start over here, one, two, three, four. The number four um, from the right is the first substituent. And then we go one, two, three, four, five is the first substituent if we're counting from the left. So I would want to count from the right. Five, six, and then it would be like seven, eight, nine, and then 10 over here. All right, so our addresses for these two would be four isopropyl and six methyl. And then I'm going to draw the skeletal of this. So I need to draw out 10 carbons. Like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then um, going from the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to draw my isopropyl. This looks like a Y. And then 5, 6, 7. Oops, I guess it's six is the methyl. Six methyl. Okay, so that would be the skeletal. And this is the condensed. All right, the next one and the last one is starting with skeletal. We're going to go to condensed. You can see here we have an alkene. And so our suffix for the name is going to be ending in E-N-E. -E. Let's first, before we circle the parent chain, figure out what the parent chain is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we go that direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and then it'd be the same if we went to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it doesn't matter whether the parent chain includes this one or this one, it's the same thing. But it's definitely not going to go straight across. So I'm just going to make it include that one. And since it's seven, and there's an alkene, the parent chain would be heptene. Keep in mind that E and E because of the alkene. Don't forget that. And then if we're numbering, we're going to start numbering from the left because that's the side that's closest to the alkene. So I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then it's going to be two heptene because that's where the alkene starts from the numbering. That'd be the lowest number carbon that's included in the alkene. So I'm going to name it two heptene for the parent chain. And then I've got several substituents here. I actually have four methyl groups. Here's one. Methyl there, here's a methyl. I need to put each address. Got two methyl, four methyl, whoops, four methyl, five methyl, and six methyl. And again, these are my substituents. So that would be all the naming. Now let's convert it to a condensed structure. Start off with CH3, then we're going to do actually just C. The reason why there's no H here is because this carbon has four bonds. One, two, three, four, and they're all to carbon. So we do not put an H on that carbon. We draw an equal sign. This one, however, does have an H because it only has three bonds to carbons. So it needs an H. And then the next one is CH with that methyl group coming off. And then another CH. The methyl group on number five. Then number six. CH. Methyl. And then Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four methyl groups in the alkene on that number two carbon. All right, I hope that's helpful for drawing and naming organic structures.